All right. Can you hear me, Shash? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, Shash, so uh, what we can do, we will uh, start uh, from today onwards the classes and uh, so this is uh, what we can do, we will do the past papers, right? While we are doing past papers, we will discuss the things, right? Okay, sir. Okay, so today uh, we are going to do a uh, 2019 paper, oral paper, right? Okay, sir. Do we have this, do we have this paper? I will get it online. Ah, okay. It's right, so, okay. Now, you uh, for the moment, you just uh, refer this, right? And you just uh, take the take some book, uh, some writing book, and in the top you can write uh, 2019 uh, December OLL paper, right? All right. Okay, first question. Which of the following devices have uh, both input and output capabilities? Right? So they are asking about the devices. Right? So which is yes. input and output both? Right? Uh, joystick. Joystick is a which device? Joystick is an input device. Yes, sir. So input device. So we uh, normally we have a joystick we use for uh, game consoles, no? Game yes, consoles. Sir. Right. OCR means optical character recognition. OCR device means optical optical character recognition. Right. That is OCR, right? OCR, what the purpose of OCR? We do OCR, right? If you want to scan images, text, text-based document, right? Text-based document, you can use uh, OCR, right? Optical character agent. And touch screen, you know, touch screen, we have, we, we, we can use as an input device as well as the output device. Output okay. Device. Yeah. Input uh, touch screen because touch screen use the technology called grid technology. GRID, right? Grid technology. Right. This grid technology, what they do is, right, if you, if you want to, it's like a grid, and right a specific grid. They will be place some buttons and all, right? For example, save button, delete button, open button, right? Edit button, contacts button, right? Images, right? Photos, right? SMS, whatever. So when you touch the screen, what in by touching means here when you press that, so the the grid is again it's open another grid. Something like that, right? Then it has another features. We say in camera, you have a record, live camera, something like that. If you click another one, we say SMS, you click, it has another grid, something like that. You have inbox, outbox, send item, new messages, something like that. So, sometimes when you touch the screen, it is it input it make as an input. After input it, it will appear another window. Another window. Another window. Right? Because of this another window, right? You will get another window. So that is it has a it displays as an output. Okay. So you want to find right. some values. Yeah, you want to find some values, find some detail. So for that, 
you are going to input input in me you are touching touch the screen so that 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 become my input but when you touch the screen it will open another window that is a, it it appears output that's why we say that that screen belongs to the input device as well as output device got it yes sir okay so for the moment the answer would be this this is okay so web cam no web camera is only the what device input no output yeah. output no 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 web camera baba input device don't fix don't mix right sir let's say you have a mobile phone right if you want to right what you are going if you want to camera or something right so you have a camera here you open the camera when you open the camera what they do they capture around they capture the atmosphere capture in is happen capture in video audio whatever so this capture in this that means you are input in something input but while you are doing web camera from your screen on your screen you can view it that is different matter you can view that is different matter right so so you are within by you are on screen that is output device but web camera is a input device remember that don't mix up web camera is a input device it's not a output device output devices are we have very few output devices we have a printer we have a plotter these things we have discussed early classes right printer plotter then we have a headphone speakers then we have a, a monitor or the screen right these are output devices all right these are yes, output sir. devices right Each of the following can be good factors to protect data. So the answer would be what for the first one? Three touch screen. Yes, this is the answer. Right. So you you have understand these also, right? What are those and what are the meaning of those? Right. Yes, sir. Okay. Then second question: Which of the following can be a good practice to protect data and information from the computer hard disk failure? So, what's the answer? What's the question? You have a computer, right? In this computer, you have a hard disk. Hard disk attached to it. Hard disk. Right. Let's say this hard disk is fail due to some reason, malfunction, right? Due to hardware failure, some corruption. This has been fail. Hard disk is not working, or it has been failure, fail. So what the question asks? The following can be good practice to protect data and information from the hard disk failure. Even your hard disk failure. because of your good practice you are going to protect your data and inputs you are going to protect data and information right so what would be the good practice to protect data and information even the hard disk is failure first one install in the firewall install in the antivirus software second one third one is Taking periodic backups, 
fourth one is using strong sparser what do you think third one backups taking period yes backups. Uh, taking periodic backups that's a good idea you know backup backup is a copy of original data copy of normally copy of original data that is called backup right copy of original data backup so why you are, so once you are taking backup once you are taking backup of your hard disk data right backup you say the back it up backup hard disk data right even you are you, you are facing some malfunction of your uh, physical storage devices called hard disk assuming the hard disk fault or it has been hard disk fault the hard disk having bad sectors right hard disk fault or it sign bad sectors bad sectors means it has been damaged your hard disk is damaged so what you have a lot of valuable data hard disk damage right in a pc this is this is this is physical damage so when is physical damage there is no way of you know getting uh, retrieving data from the hard disk because it will not detected by the port also it will not connected so it's already you know gone so at that time if you don't keep the periodic backups your data you don't have any option right so that is the answer all right did you understand that so when you take the backup yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. when you take the backup there are possible way of taking the backup one is normally we can take a backup daily backup normally company take daily backup okay some company take monthly backup and some company take weekly backup and some company take all these kind of a backup daily backup weekly backup and monthly backup it's it's depending on the your backup plan every company has a backup plan according to that backup plan it will you know operate so as a it manager you should know how to keep your data and information secure if some uh, malfunction happening into your hard disk so server so computer so whatever right so that is about taking periodic backup periodic means time to time we say you are taking backup every five days then every five day you have to every consecutive five day you have to take the backup so that will ensure that even we say your hard disk has been gone like uh, sunday so you don't worry about that because you lost only uh friday and sunday two days back up because because right uh every friday you are taking back up if the sunday goes so after friday you are going to take the back up next friday but you couldn't the hard disk is gone on sunday then saturday and sunday you couldn't take the back up only two days lost so minimum of by using this kind of a best practices right you can uh, maintain minimum data lost minimum data lost very very minimum because you are having periodic backups it's a good practice right it's a good practice okay okay what do you mean by installing a firewall why it's not good practice to take in the backup it's for only for security yeah very good firewall 
firewall is something else right it's not uh, related to the backup stuff so firewall what do you mean by the firewall it's a protection protection of malicious activities malicious malicious activities right for example hacking right some some person trying to get uh, you know taking sensitive data and go and sometimes virus infection so you have to you can protect from viruses you can protect from malicious activities you can protect from computer fraud so there are various uh, you know malicious activities or some abnormal activities happening in the internet or the network so by putting firewall you can protect it you can protect your internal network internal or company network and you will provide you will uh, prohibit to outsiders unknown outsider come into your computer uh, come into your network it will block it firewall comes with a software as well as a hardware box hardware boxes right. for example uh, nowadays firewall we have a palo alto Forty eight checkpoint cyber arm. These are industrial, right? Uh, industry standard firewall, very very expensive. Right, Palo Alto is American product. So forty eight also the USA product. Checkpoint also USA product. These are all our USA, right? So these are number one products at the moment in the market. Even we have a Cisco firewall, right? So what the firewall does? Firewall can we say you have an expert? This is your company expert. Company network has is a thousand or some big computers. And it will connect to the many many switches. I will I will draw only one switch. These are switch. These are computers. Right. Then switch is connected to you can here four router. They are the main main thing. Four switch. These are led. Two switches. These are four switches, right? So we will connect to the firewall to the four switch firewall. Then from the firewall, it exposed to the internet. So you can say it connected to the router, company router. Routers connected to the internet. This is internet, right? So these are company network. This all are all belongs to the company network. These are PCs. If the PC want to go some particular website, it comes like this, and it cross the passage, come to the firewall. Firewall will check here. 
whether this traffic is genuine, genuine no, this traffic is fraud or this traffic is malicious traffic. Oh, when it's, when it's come to the internet, so internet, every time some traffic car comes. So they come to the router. From the router, they come to the firewall. When the when firewall receives this traffic, firewall will, firewall will inspect. Inspect all the traffic. Or in other words, firewall will, firewall will what? Analyze these traffic. Analyze. Analyze and check whether what are these traffic. Are they genuine traffic or are they malicious traffic? Are they contain viruses? Are they contain hacking methods? Are they contain some malicious activities? Everything. Got it? Yes, sir. So, so this firewall is protecting both sides, even from the internal network. He said, let, let's say, assuming that there's, uh, every, uh, the, most of the person, they are going to access the Facebook, Instagram, right, some whatever the website, social media website during the office hours. So management can decide, okay, you can put a firewall, uh, you can put a firewall rules. In a firewall, we have firewall rules. What's the rule? We can say after, uh, uh, starting from 8 a.m. to 5 a.m., no one can access the Facebook or whatever the Instagram social media website. So if some, we say 8.30 a.m., if some person, PC3, trying to access the Facebook, when that request comes to the firewall, the firewall run this rule. Because there's a rule in firewall, if any traffic comes 8 to 5, Asking Facebook, block it. Then it will block it. So firewall can control your traffic. Control your traffic. And whatever the traffic, valuable or value only, only work in traffic only, you will put it into the internet or again, actually it's checking outgoing traffic can, incoming traffic. Outgoing traffic means whatever the traffic we are accessing from the internet. Incoming traffic means whatever the traffic coming from the internet, incoming traffic. They put all our in, into the one basket and they are checking. They run the, all the firewall rules and check whether any malicious activities are there. If it is not there, it will come into the inside the company. If it is any, if you can't, uh, you know, authorize the or the genuine the, this traffic they will discard they will delete the traffic or cancel the traffic so this is the purpose of the firewall understand firewall purpose yes sir okay installing the antivirus software so why we are why we need antivirus software Because through most of the time in the internet, we have virus software. Around the world, in the internet, we have virus software. If you are infected to the virus software, your computer will not work properly. It will become cumbersome. Right? Cumbersome means very difficult to work. Machine will get very slow. Some pop up messages come. Right? You can't work. Machine will be restarting time to time. Machine will be stuck. Your files will be deleted automatically. Your files is misplaced or deleted. You can't open any apps. Any apps. Can't open. Can't open. It's not working. So, very, very difficult to work with your PC because of the vi virus software, because of the virus infection. So in order to protect from these kind of a viruses, 
right? We have viruses called malware, spyware, malware, spyware, adware, Trojan horses, Trojan horses. There are various, various viruses are there, categorize, categorize of viruses, right? So how are we going to prevent these things? Right? So by using antivirus software, we can protect your computer, personal computer. We can protect your data which is residing in our computer. And antivirus software regularly should be updated. Antivirus software. Regularly. Regularly should be updated. Right. Most of the antivirus software you have, uh, uh, we have a uh, Kaspersky, right? We have a uh, uh, Symantec, we have uh, Alira, we have a uh, North, we have uh it defend we have uh so force so we have several several virus guard right so we have to install and we have regularly update because update with that definition we have a file called that definition file because each and every day the viruses will be created new viruses will be released to the world so because of that even the antivirus uh, engineers antivirus the person who is working in the antivirus software companies right they want to build up the uh, new, uh, uh, you know, catch up the new viruses, but they are releasing. Because of that, they want to capture the new viruses. So in order to capture the new viruses, they will create the, that definition with the latest virus scan. So that's why they, that, that definition should be updated regularly. Otherwise, no point of using antivirus software. Because if it is not updated means, it can't, it can't track the, or it can catch the latest viruses. Because in order to catch the viruses, you should, you should have some antivirus program. So that should be updated. Because viruses every day, day by day, they are creating new viruses. The viruses are born in day by day. So same as that, if you want to catch those viruses, so antivirus software code also born in, should born day by day. So those software comes with this that definition update updated versions. So that's why you want to update the your virus guard software. Then only it can catch the latest viruses. Are you clear on these things? Yes, sir. Right. Right, using the strong password. Why are you using the strong password to protect from? Right, someone can break your password. No, someone, yeah, someone, someone can try your password. They can assuming that password is one, two, three, four, five, six. They can, you know, put some the arbitrary value or by your name or something. They are trying to access. So because of that, you should have a strong password. So what are the features of the strong password? Tell me. Features of the strong password. Capital simple letters, numbers. Yes, upper letters. And lower letters should be there. Lower letters. Then you have numbers, special characters, punctuation mark. Right? Punctuation mark should be there. Yeah. 
minimum eight characters. Eight characters should be there. You should regularly change your password. Regularly change your password. Then no one can log in or no one can guess it. You don't write password here and there. Don't write. Most of the people, they have written in their password into on, on their desk or on their book or, you know, on their wall, something like that. Don't write down your password. Keep it protect. Understand? Sometimes you should have symbols also. In a strong password, you could you could add symbols. Symbols means like you know, uh, like percentage sign, pound sign, right? Some symbols. Do you understand these things? Yes, sir. All right. Okay. So that is about the question number two. Okay. What about the question number three? Any idea? Fourth answer. Fourth answer. Which of the answer. following? Which of the following correct regarding the generation of computers? Okay. Integrated circuit for producing the first. Uh, tell me integrated circuit in which generation? First generation. We have second generation. Tell me, integrated circuit is which generation? What? The whole of the first generation. First generation, what is the output, outcome? First generation. Vacuum tubes. Okay, vacuum tubes. Take your notebook, your, your textbook in a school. Textbook, it's there. Vacuum tube. Then, second generation. Transistors. Transistors. Third generation. I see. Oh, integrated circuit. You have to say I see no integrated circuit. Integrated circuits. Okay, fourth one. Large scale integrated circuits. No, no. Fourth one is microprocessor. Fifth one is AI, artificial intelligence. Right? Okay, sir. 
right so they are asking integrated circuit for introducing the first generation computer it is true or false 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 vacuum tubes are introducing second generation computers true or false false transistor were introducing third generation computers true or false 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 very large scale ics introducing fourth generation computer yes so this would be correct one right so you should know these generations right they will test us like this okay okay sir Right. Okay. Question number four. Which of the following are related to government to citizen services? Government to citizen. We mean the GC or the shop online. Ordering the food item online. Renewing the vehicle renewal license online. What could be the correct answer? A and C. Yes, it should be A and C because ordering the food item online, it's not government job, right? Everybody can, yes, sir. you know, yeah, do that, right? Not as it's not the services because G to C means G to C means government. From the government, right? You should serve to the citizens. Oh. No. Yes, sir. Right. So, answer should be second. Yeah. Uh, within the GC all over is not only within. No, I think within. Uh, see, within is not uh, what within can be. They are not. They are not within. No, they are manipulated. So I think we say four answer. We'll check the answer first. Yeah, four is uh, two. Yeah, <laughs> A and Z is okay. So within the all our resort online and the renewing the vehicle revenues, these two are okay. Okay, question number five. Which of the following is an example of data processing? First one, sir. Calculating the account balance using banking software after the cash withdrawal. Right? Data processing. Data should be processed. Calculating the account balance banking uh, using banking software after the cash withdrawal. Copying the file from the USB drive to the hard drive. Copy in the file. Now the data processing. Installing sound editing software to person. It's not the data processing. Scanning the letter using a scan. Calculating the account balance.
using language of the after the cash withdraw so data processing yeah it should be question i think is a bug yes it should be one here yeah, thing is right data processing data processing means some conversion should be there some conversion some modification right some conversion modification right some conversion modification some uh, editing right editing should be there right some editing should be there that is for data processing right so but here scanning the letter using the scanner it's just scanning there is no processing no it it's, yes, it's not it's not involved in any data processing data change in i am in i am good thing right installing the some editing software in personal account you know just software up install karana gela eka data processing in right copy in the file from the usb drive and hard disk no it's just a copy no it's not affect any data change in or modification right so answer would be calculating the account balance because you are going to calculate it hoye na calculate karo a gana ganan hadana hadala balana balance eka right using awesome. banking software right after the cash withdrawal right when you after you withdraw some money they are going to check the balance so it has been right data processing involved because of that answer would be all right yes sir Right. What about this one? <clears throat> Select the most suitable computer type from the supercomputer, laptop computer, and table computer. Follow in application. Right. Follow in. I got the balloon. We'll check first time. To process very large amount of data that are continuously obtained through satellite. that means you know uh, continuously obtained through satellite from the satellite we use microwave technology microwave technology to gain the data from the satellite or data coming from the orbit orbit and api gana abhyakase abhyakase indal api data pallaga api ground level lekata ఓకే డౌన్ స్టేషన్స్ ఆర్ ద డేటా ఇన్ ఆన్ ఏజ్ డౌన్ స్టేషన్స్ రైట్ సో దట్స్ వాట్ దే ఆర్ మీ ఫ్రమ్ ద సటలైట్ టు డౌన్ స్టేషన్ దే ఆర్ ట్రాన్స్ఫరింగ్ డేటా త్రూ ద సటలైట్ రైట్ సో దే ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ప్రాసెస్ వెరీ లార్జ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ డేటా ఇట్స్ అ బిగ్ డేటా రైట్ సో యు కాన్ డు ఫ్రమ్ ద ల్యాప్టాప్ కంప్యూటర్ యు కాన్ డు ల్యాప్టాప్ కంప్యూటర్ సో దిస్ టు ఆన్సర్స్ ఆర్ యు కెన్ రిమూవ్ even you can do the tablet computer actually you from the first one also you can get the correct line got it answer would be 3 then second one i already selected the answer for the yes, first sir. one also yeah for a writer to work on a essay during the vacation yeah they can use the laptop for a traveling sales representative enter item request visiting shop yeah they use a the tablet computer and at the sales figures right when they are go to the uh, shops so answer would be c 
Do you understand this? Yes, sir. Right. Good. Consider the following statement with blanks labor A and B. When processing, the CPU uses its temporarily stored data that are brought from which of the following combination is suitable for filling the blank? Right. When processing, the CPU uses its primary memory to a temporary store data that are brought from registers. Right. What about this one? Then when processing the CPU uses its registers to temporarily store data that are brought from primary memory. Second memory, primary memory. So what would be the correct form? Second one. When processing the CPU uses its CPU ke authority in the primary memory in any primary memory and the memory of Kai over the RAM memory CPU by me for the Ganujano DNA. Right, CPA guy, RAM me guy, right? CPA guy, we have registers. CPA guy, we have registers. CPA guy, tower tier or buses here, John. CPA guy, tier or ALU, CU control unit, take a Generate kind control signal, ne? time signal, control unit, CUT. Arithmetic and logical unit, ki na, ki na. it has a number of registers here, R1 to Rn. What about CPA? Ke hai thi. CPA is cache, hai na, cache. Ram is data, A, B, C, C, E, F. It has instruction, hai hai na. something like that. Load, mal. Something like this. It's all a CPA, primary memory. It's all a Uttare, Metara Menama. Right? When processing C, from processing the CPU user, it's CPA, the Atulati Meta, primary memory, second memory, second memory, Uttare, and no B. Are you lazy? There are any Samara question, Allah Ganabu, I come answer. अबे एक अरे नॉलेज जगह दिए नो नॉलेज जगह ना तू बे ये मंदार ना वो ला स्कूल मोना लेवल लेकर तो कर लग सांस दिए सर अभी पेस्कल लेवल जाने का कर पेस्कल तो मैं यान नहीं हाँ हाँ ये तो ला पेपर्स कर रहे हैं क्या नहीं सर Papers करा गया ना सर papers वाला देंग Pascal वाली ना Pascal वाली तो इतना का दाल हो रही है नहीं ओ प्रश्न है ये ठीक है तो मैं करे ओ Pascal वाला तो काली मना दे रही है क्या ताऊ कुछ चलाने करा ना तीन Pascal इतना ही ताऊ करा ना तीन आप अनित्य ओ कुमार कर लेती है नहीं Oh, tawa ikka padu mati no ar meda dia hui nega, maka dari game peh mati ni, HTML. Oh, ah hari hari. Kita kau itu rai tu ni, ani tau kau kalah. Baik.
अरे यहाँ पे क्वेश्चन एट बार हूँ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग ट्रांसमिशन मीडिया राइट मैं ट्विस्ट बैकबोन Bearing of metal bag, backbone. These are very expensive cable in type, fiber optic, right? UTP is coming from the copper wire. It's made up of the copper wire. Right? Most of the UTP cables are used in industry networking environment. In office environment, we use. Then we have a coaxial cable, antenna cable. These are still used for uh, CCTV. A digital uh, DVR installation, digital right visual recorder, digital video recorder, right? Coaxial cable are you? Yes. Another transmission medium type we have a radio frequency, wireless, wireless wave. We call them as a radio frequency RF, RF. These are for the wireless communication. Wireless communication. Without wire, you can communicate. Wireless communication. That is called RF. So these, by using one of the medium, we are con connected to the internet. The mama internet ter kar lai, the mage fiber kar ekhon aapke na. Ab fiber ke samay the internet ter kahan chala? Right? Then khawra wireless router aapke na, yaar kar ekhon lai na wireless router. Wireless communication (RF). So this is the medium. So this called transmission medium. Basic media we have to start by fiber optic, right? Something like that. We have a UTP cable. Visa UTP cable, right? Visa UTP cable. So we are connecting to our LAN, local area network, the computers, desktop, laptop, right? Visa can be RJ45 connected. This will fix into your laptop port, network port, right? Visa cable. So then we have a fiber optic cable. Right, these are fiber optic cable. Fiber optic cable are uh, used for uh, you know making the backbone of the uh, data. Right, main connection. Right, fiber optic cable. These are very expensive. Right, expensive cabling. So see, so these are you know they use ships. This is ship. Right, they use uh, these diagram. Right, five G. See, these are fiber optic. Right under under the sea, they wire these kind of a cable. Right, very very strong, powerful cable. Right, fiber optic cable. Then we have a RF wireless radio frequency.
So these are radio frequencies. So we can't look at these things. These are, you know, radio frequencies. It goes, right, working like that, radio frequencies. Then we have coaxial cable. This is antenna cable, right? Mostly we use for the CCTV, right? The digital CCTV, right? And our digital TV connection. These are coercial things. So these are one of the, you have to, you can use one of the method, mostly we use UTP and all. Right. Which of the following are correct regarding the transmission media? Unfilled twisted pair cable are suitable for transmit data for a long distance over 200 meters. It is correct or wrong, Sahas? Wrong. It's wrong. Why it's wrong? I make a wrong yes. turn. Uh, I don't think you are looking at the answers and tell, right? You are not looking at the answers of paper, no? No, sir. No. Have, ah, okay. Okay, then tell me what is the answer for this? Why I am asking? Why you are saying no? There should be a reason why you are not selecting this one as a current regarding transmission media. So I then again they make a match, you know, I hate to I eat a I can mukad they get around, cotton of the valid. So, done at what you are, right? Or done at the Giana, so I am not sure here. Make a fiber optic cable transit data faster than UTP. Is this correct or wrong? Wrong, sir. Wrong, eh? Yes, sir. Infrared data transmission is used to wireless keyboard to communicate with computers. What's that? Infrared data transmission is used sir, in what? Like uh, TV remote. Okay. I uh, can keyboard, right? I am asking whether it is correct or wrong. Infrared data transmission is used to wireless no, no, key. Correct. It's correct, correct. sir. So, UTP is maximum CI, is a good one. Yes, maximum CI, very good. Maximum CI, Purvan, Sahas. Right? That's why Ega Varadi. Well, may I see now? They are saying that unseen that twisted pair cable suitable transmit data long distance. No, long distance, they are on a fiber optic cable. Okay? Yes, sir. Fiber optic cable. So that goes for fiber optic cable. Right? So that is for the fiber optic. Normally, UTP cable only limited to 100. Even when we, when we cable it, we don't even layer in 100. We, we just finish like 85, maximum 90. Because we know that if you go beyond that, the data will be lost. Data lost is there. So we don't want to lost our data because of, the, you know, because every cable has their limitation. So this is the UTP limitation, only 100 meters, maximum. Theoretically, but tactically, we don't layer even 100. We stop like 85 meters. Right? Okay, sir. Okay. 
So this should be wrong. Then A, they are asking regarding correct now. So this should not come because A is wrong because A is there now. So we can get we can remove this answer as a correct answer. Then fiber optic cable are transmit data transfer than UTP cable. You said that this is wrong. No, this is correct. Because fiber optic cable is the faster because it goes light signal. Very, very fast. Right? Because it goes like a light flash. Right? It's not a data like this. No digital data. No digital transmission. Light signal. Yes, sir. So fiber optic cable transmit data faster than UTP cable. Yes. B should be correct. Then C should not come because C only no. Because B is there. B and C only. Then infrared data transmission is used. Infrared means, you know, it's a earlier uh, wireless technology. Nowadays also use wireless technology. More, mostly, as you said, in the uh, remote control. No? Remote control. We have this infrared. Infrared, infrared chip is there. Normally, in a TV, most of the TV they have infrared chip fixed. Infrared chip. So this, when you press the remote, right? Normally, the light signal goes. We say the line of sight. How you get a in the No, no, how much power? How make a button make a change? To na hatra channel smart way, right? Right. So the yes, this is called line of sight. Line of sight. In far a technology, you are working as a line of working as a line of sight. Line of sight. Okay. Line of sight. Right. So, answer would be so infrared uh, wireless keyboard. B and C only. Communicate with computers. Infrared data transmission is used to wireless keyboard. Yeah, sometimes wireless keyboard also they are, but it should be then wireless. Uh, the computer should have. While uh, in part of cheap post, right? Question number eight. Three. B and C only. Right? So answer would be this correct and this correct, this wrong. Okay, next one. Which of the following statements are true? Binary form is used to store data and instruction in computer. Binary form used to store data and instruction in computer. It is correct or wrong? Correct. Yeah, normally we use binary values, no? Binary values. Yes, sir. Ones and zeros to represent the represent data and information in the computer, data and information in the computer. Right? So A is correct. 945 is a valid number in both octal and hexadecimal number system.
You see the correct door or? Wrong. Why you are saying wrong? What's the reason? Hexadecimal color. No, hexadecimal is not the same, Baba. Hexadecimal is the same. So we have hexadecimal values here, right? Normally starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, okay. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then we have value A, B, C, D, E, and F. A means we are referring like 10. 10. 10. 11. 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 and 50, something like that. So these are hexadecimal number system, nothing but these are hexadecimal values. So these are base of 60, base. So nine should be there. So here nine is there. Remember, see, nine four five is, yeah, that is possible. Your nine is also in a hexadecimal value. So this part is correct. But what about this one? Octal. Octal. Octal can't. Because octal have only 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Only 7. 0 to 7. You can't say 9. It's not a it's not under it's not under octal base value. It's not under nine is nine is not under octal value. Okay, octal digit. These are octal digit, 0 to 8, 0 to 7. So because of that, this sentence is wrong. Got it? I make a I make a Okay, you should know this. Purple. Why this hexadecimal should match or and why this octal should not match because hexadecimal we have 0 to 9 and uh, then again a to f but in the octal we have only 0 to 7 digits so 9 is not under uh, 0 to 7 digit because of that this sentence is uh, invalid that's why it's wrong but this part is okay but this part sentence half is wrong that means more sentence is wrong Okay, then next one. Now this is correct, this is wrong. Right? Now you can check the answer very easy. Because A is only. B is only wrong. B should be wrong. Then A, B, C, no. That should be also not wrong. Right? Now we have only one check. So we have to check this. One. 4, 1, 2, 8 is equal to Harsi Dolaha. Right? Harsi Dola Ate Pag. Ate Pag, Harsi Dola equal to. So you can straight away divide by 3. Here, 4 means 1, 0, 0. 1 means 0, 0, 1. Octal, we have only 3 values, 3 digits. 2 means 0, 1, 0. Check whether this answer is there. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. All right. Here, what I told you, right? If they given they given the octal value, no? Yes, sir. 
बिंदु उत्तरिया उपरी सेवन देखें मेरे आन में आता ना देखा वाला तू ना ही एका की तो तूने ना देखा वाला एका ही एका इतना वाला एका ही एका ही एका ही उन्हें हम उनका देने के वैल्यू का सेवन नहीं है इतना ना टू डू डू पावर जीरो टू डू डू पावर वन टू डू डू पावर टू टू डू पावर टू हाथा रहा है टू डू पावर वन देखा है टू � राइट इतना कौन था ऑक्टल लल मामा क्यों हुए ऑक्टल लल एक डिजिट से का थ्री डिजिट सिंब बाइनरी का बार रेस्पोंसन काम मैक्सिमम आल आल सर आरे ओ इतना कौन था जान ऑक्टल लल वैल्यू एक आप दूंगा ना पास से आप इधर ले हार से दोला ना दीरा दी मैं मानता हूँ हादन हो हार से दोला फोन में हादन बाला 
හාරසිය දොලා අට අටේ පාද දේශ මේ අයිලා දේශ මේක කියන්නේ දේශ දේශ එයිට් කියන්නේ ඔක්ට එතකොට හාරසිය දොලා මම දැන් හදද්දි මම දන්නවා මේ එක ඩිජිට් එක බයිනරි වෙලා ලියනවා නම් ඩිජිට් තුනක් වෙන්න ඕන බයිනරි බයිනරි ඩිජිට් තුනකින් ලියන්න ඕන මෙයත් බයිනරි ඩිජිට් තුනකින් ලියන්න ඕන මෙයත් බයිනරි ඩිජිට් තුනකින් ලියන්න ඕන ඔහොම වෙන්න එතකොට හොඳම ලේසිම වැඩේ තමයි ඔයා මේ තියරිය ගන්න ඕන ඔයාට තල් දාලා මේ වැඩේ කරන්න පුළුවන් ඔයාට කරන්න තියෙන හරිම ලේසි වැඩ ආරසිය දොලා ලියා ගත්ත පොඩ්ඩක් ඉඩ තියලා ඔහොම ලියා ගත්ත මෙහෙම කඩා ගත්ත කඩාගෙන මේක ඩිජිට් තුනකින් ලිව්වා එකයි බින්දුවයි බින්දු බින්දුවයි බින්දුවයි එක බින්දුවයි එකයි බින්දු මේ කියන්නේ හතර ඔක්ටල් හතර බයිනරි සීයයි ඔක්ටල් එක කියන්නේ බයිනරි බින්දුවයි බින්දුවයි එකයි ඔක්ටල් දෙක කියන්නේ බයිනරි එකයි බින්දුවයි එකයි බින්දු ඊට මේ ටික ආයෙත් පේරියට ඔයා කිව්ව වගේ දිව්වා කියලා මෙතන බේස් එක 2 කියලා දැන් මොකද්ද ආන්සර් එකයි බින්දු 4 එකයි බින්දු 1 එකයි බින්දු එතකොට මේකේ 412 8 පාද තේරුණාද बिंदु जन उटलिटिन फॉलोइंगीड Descending order. एक याने descending order के याने ready के इधर ला आडूए आडूए access speed देगा मुड़ी में ready है कपेल ना इधर पास से इधर पास से ready है वहीं register catch memory main memory hard disk उटपुट 
வடிவம் காஷ்மீரி மே ஹத்ரேம காஷ்மீரி கட்டமா வேதி அக்ஸஸ் ஸ்பீட் ஹை ஸ்பீட் அபிகான காஷ்மீரி அபிகான ஹை ஸ்பீட் மெமரி லொகேஷன் இது பாஸ்ட் மெயின் மெமரி இது பாஸ்ட் ரெஜிஸ்டர் இத பாஸ்ட் ஹார்ட் டிஸ்க் அனிதேகாரி <laughs> ஹார்ட் டிஸ்க் கோமாத் ஸ்பீட் டேக்க ஸ்லோ செகண்ட் ஸ்டோரேஜ் இந்த ஏக ஹாரி ஏக அப்படி அந்திமட தாகாத்த செகண்ட் ஸ்டோரேஜ் இத பாஸ்ட்ரே செக பிரைமரி ஸ்டோரேஜ் மெயின் மெமரி கேன பிரைமரி ஸ்டோரேஜ் ஏக அப்படி தாகாத்த ஓ மேக ரெடி ஏகே இந்தல அடு ஏகட நே ஹாரி மே அடு வேன பாத்து எதோட ரெஜிஸ்டர் එතකොට register එකයි cache memory ආතර තමයි අපිට doubt එක ආවේ. සාමාන්‍ය cache memory එකට අපි කියන්නේ high speed memory location එක කියලා. register එකත් high speed memory location එක. එතකොට මේ දෙක compare කරද්දි මේ දෙකෙන් වැඩිම register කියලා තමයි කියන්නේ. එහෙම වුණොත් උඩට එන්න ඕන register ඊට පස්සේ cache memory ඊට පස්සේ මේන් මෙමරි ඊට පස්සේ හාල්ට් දිස් රයිට් හරි මේකත් බලමු ඉෆ් ඉෆ් කැරක්ටර් ඊස් රෙප්‍රසන්ටඩ් ඇක්සි ටේබල් 69 character capital e එක 69 වලින් represent කරනවා. axi code. axi code කියන්නේ මොකද american american standard code for information Inter- interchange right interchange and the right axi code day american standard code for information interchange right eto kota අපි දන්න ASCII කෝඩ් එක ASCII කෝඩ් එකේ වැලියු බිට්ස් කියන දින දෙයා රෙප්‍රසන්ට් කරනවා. හා 7 bit 7 bit very good 7 bit 7 bit binary pattern එකකින් තමයි එයා රෙප්‍රසන්ට් කරන්නේ හැම කැරක්ටර් එකම binary pattern. හරි. ඒතර අපි ගොඩක් යූස් කරන්නේ ASCII කෝඩ් එක අපේ කම්පියුටර්ස් වල ASCII කෝඩ් වලින් තමයි රෙප්‍රසන්ට්. ඒක ඕනම ASCII කෝඩ් වල වෙනම predefined values තියෙනවා okay? You can have capital A to Z, there are another value, simple A to Z, there are another value set, and 0 to 9 values, another value set, and uh, special characters, right, special characters, we have another value set, right, it's like that, right, so, if character E is represented by a, so, character E, capital E, there are, They are saying 69. Then character G. How do you see? Then E. A, B, C, D. E, F, G. So what is G and no? Hat take. Hat take is the high part. It's the mega binary order. How do you see? Oh, how do you see? Hat take is the binary order. Hat take is the high part. හැට හතරයි ඊට පස්සේ හැට හතරයි 30 දෙක නැහැ 16 නැහැ 
आटा की है ना आटा हाथरा आटा ही आटा हाथरा ही ने आटा ने तो है तो देखा क्या ना तो ना बिंदु है ऐसा बोला था है तो हाथरा ही हाथरा ही है तो आटा ही देखा ही है तो अलग है तो क्या मैंने उत्तर दाहाई एक सी एक बोला है देखो दाहाई एक सी एक बोला है देखो दाहाई एक सी एक बोला है देखो उत्तरे देखा आराम देखा देखो और एक बोला सही था देखा मैं एक बोला है उत्तरे देखा एक फिर उन्हें लगाते हैं आओ जे वो मैं लगाते कैपिटल ई है तो नाम है यार यार क्या नहीं जी जी रन है ना ई एफ जी जी है तेरा फिर नहीं था ओ तो ना मेरे का अभी बाइनरी वाले तो बैंक में बात से वैल्यू दे देना आ रही नहीं आ रही है अभी मैं बात कर रहा हूँ विच ऑफ़ द फॉलोइंग कंटेन ओनली द टास्क ऑफ़ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम क्या है ना अभी जानो सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर आएगा दिस इज़ द सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर राइट सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर तो वी आर गोइंग टू तो व्हाट दे आर सीन विच ऑफ़ द फॉलोइंग कंटेन ओनली द टास्क ऑफ़ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्� Payroll management contains only the task of operating. Payroll management, no, it's a it's a software system. It's not a operating system task. It's a yes, software, sir. right? So it, you can remove you can remove that. Then next one, process management, database management, file management. So database management is not a operating system task. It's a database management is done by Database management system (DBMS) like a Access, SQL, something like that. It's not a task of the operating system, so we can reduce that. We we can remove that task as one answer. This is not the correct answer one and two. What about three? Process management, memory man again database management. No, database management is out of topic. It's not a operating. It's not a operating system task. Database management is done by the database management system like SQL, SQL, MySQL, Access Oracle, something like that. Right? Then answer should be this one: process management, memory management, file management. Process management means, you know, computer every task, every task, we not as a process. Process has a life cycle. Process can start. Process can run. Right. Process can uh, receive. Uh, process can uh, suspend. Process can dead or end. Right. So. Process can so that's how uh, process can ready state. So these are the state, right? Processes. Each and every task de defined as a process. So these process, every process they have a, they should allocate the memory and the CPU resources. That is done. That is done by the operating system. So operating system task process manager. These things are managed by the operating system process manager. Memory management means right every 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 application in a computer, right? Every application, every program in a computer, they need memory. They want to allocate memory. They want to allocate. Want to allocate memory. So, for example, if you write, if you open Office package, 
Word, Excel, Access. PowerPoint. Yes. So it has some. When you open it, it has some memory. Remember, it needs some memory to run the application. So CPU or the operating system will allocate the memory. We say uh, we allocate hundred MB for this. Here yeah, we allocate like five hundred MB for example. We allocate right uh, PowerPoint. We say thirty MB. So this memory allocation, memory allocation should be done each and every task in a computer. Each and every task, every task in a computer, right? In a computer. So that is done by the operating system. That is called memory management. Each and every task, each and whatever you open, there should be a memory allocated. So that is done by the operating system. And other one is a file management, right? file management file management operating system organization organizing organizing all the files in a computers that means files and folders right the arrangement file arrangement right file arrangement the hierarchy file hierarchy right file hierarchy we have two two kind of a file system Nectar file system, NTFS, Nectar file system, and FAT32 file allocation table. So normally we use earlier we use FAT32. Nowadays we use NTFS. So this file arrangement creating folders, subfolders, right? Creating folders in a computer, creating subfolders, right? Subfolders creating directories, right? These all are done by is file management so that is done by the operating system got it yes sir so these are three tasks right so answer would be this so api me question na kala na atara garamu me ga api me ga palamu which of the following technique can be used to in uh, in uh, in case the file mm. space of the hard disk without deleting the existing file right increase the free space on the hard disk without deleting the existing file what do you think compression of existing file on the hard disk yeah First one is the partition in the hard disk. No, partition in the hard disk means you are when you when you install the operating system very first time. Install the operating system. You should partition the partition your hard disk. Yes. Like C drive, D drive, E drive. You have to allocate allocate some uh, storage. Yes. Right. So it 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 is not. By using that, you are not getting any free space. Yes. Right? Then, when you are formatting the hard disk, means all the data will be lost. Yes, sir. Right. So they are saying that without deleting the existing file, you can't delete the file. Current file, you can't delete it. So this won't be the answer. So if you format the hard disk, all the data will be lost. So that is that is not the correct answer as well. The next one, copying some files in the hard disk to the flash drive, right? So what they are saying, used to increase the increase the free space of the hard disk without deleting any existing files. So so copying some files in the hard disk to the flash drive, even if not it it it's not taking a free space because. Copying, you are not copy. You are just copying, not cutting. But if it say yes, it is cutting some files, then it will delete that. Anyway, it, it won't be the answer. So answer would be, you can compress. Compression means you using zip file. You are using zip folder. Or you are, for example, Win zip or Win R A R O or Seven zip, right? Whatever the uh, application. Compression technique application, 
so what what you are going to do pay, for example we have this kind of a data we say you have a this kind of a data pool so we say for example you use some bag this is a big bag you have a data here but you take a small bag and you put all the data to the this all the data which is reside in this big bag to the small bag right like api api karana compress kala dana tada karala dana what are we say here we have like 50 mb we make it like 20 mb so now then you have a 30 mb free yes that that's how you can make it okay so the answer would be compression by existing files on the hard disk all right so uh so how so we will uh, we will wind up the class today so what you can do so uh, normally we, we will keep the class uh, this sunday as a fixed day but if you need some additional classes uh you just let me know i am confused okay if you need additional okay. classes you just let me know because i don't think uh, sunday is enough because we have to do lot of papers right yes sir but anyway we will uh, start from this sunday and uh, even sat- i think saturday morning also you free right yes sir yes morning free oh then uh, If if so, then we'll we'll do the Saturday and Sunday both. If you like, we can do like that. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. All right. Take care. Okay. Bye. Yes, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye.